My name is Art Money. I'm uh, a long-time uh, worker in the uh, defense and intelligence business. When I, uh, I was invited to be on the uh, advisory board of One Cosmos uh, Block ID, uh, and frankly, I uh, jumped at the chance in, in that it was yet another advisory board that I could assist and advise on that was leading to better security, cyber security, if you will, of, uh, of the United States, for that matter, any of its customers. And when I found out what Block ID is all about, I saw that as a great opportunity to further the cause of cybersecurity. The first known cyber attack in the Pentagon was in January of 1998. Before that, there were several hacking attempts, but this was a concentrated attack. Um, the major vulnerabilities to the systems anywhere in the Pentagon or commercial companies anywhere is uh, passwords and phishing. Uh, so with the two, that's been the major avenue of access for the people wanting to get into systems. So back, uh, back this first incident uh, was called Solar Sunrise and then f immediately followed by a thing called Moonlight May. Solar Sunrise turned out to be some high school students in California. Moonlight Maze turned out to be a foreign intelligence service that's still active. Um, recently in the news, you've read about Solar Wind, which was an attack via supply chain. Well, the initial entry into the supplier of that uh, supply chain uh, was a password that was poorly, uh, poorly secured. So there's many, many instances of where passwords have been the vulnerable part of, uh, of the whole system. I think the primary reason is until recently there hasn't been a vi viable alternative to passwords and now seeing what Block ID can do, uh, that's I think going to change all of that as, uh, as things are, as time permits and as people become more knowledgeable about what Block ID is all about and what it can offer. When I was in the Pentagon, uh, both as Assistant Secretary of the, uh, for the Air Force and for Defense. I was also the CIO, uh, first for, this, for the Air Force and then for the Defense. It, it, the jobs went together. And at that time, we had roughly 7 million uh, members in the Department of Defense. About half of them were on computer systems at one time or another. Therefore, there were several million uh, using several passwords each, so you can look at the number of passwords flying around, so to speak. Uh, we didn't have the technology or the ability then to do what now, what one Cosmos Block ID can do now. And so I think it's a matter of time until uh, this technology that we present here uh, will, be, uh, will be used across the board to prevent the need for and the risk of using passwords. I think it's a huge advantage to the security of the United States, both commercial and in the defense and intelligence parts of the government, um, that this, this capability offers security well beyond the risk and the vulnerability of passwords. <laughs>